All right, we're doing an oil change. This is a 2015 Taiga Z3, but it has the Raptor 400. Just a couple things you're gonna need part-wise. New oil filter, FL820S. This is like a Ford oil filter. There's others you can use, but the oil you're gonna want a 5W30. It takes eight quarts, we got 10 here, so. And then some kind of a filter wrench. This is a bag to put around the filter. I'm going to want to use an oil extractor too. I'll show you how that, that works. Okay, we have the engine cover up. One of the things you're going to want to, you're going to want is a, this is just a little barbed fitting. This is something you pick up like at Home Depot or Lowe's. It's just a, um, this will fit onto the end of the oil drain hose. So if you look over here, usually it could be on either side, but on this, this is the oil drain hose. So what we'll do is we'll unclip that, and we're going to screw the barb fitting onto the end of that oil pan hose, and be able to extract the oil from that. Okay, so I took the cap off, and I just screwed on hand tight this oil barb fitting, and now I'm going to have a plastic tube hooked into my oil, oil extractor. The engine's warm, so you want to make it's easier if the engine oil is warm. So, if you've done it after a day on the lake, or you can start it up on the trailer. But you want to make sure you have ex extracting the oil from here because this is at the bottom of the drain pan or the oil pan. So, you're able to get almost all of the oil out via this method. So, we're going to hook that up to the oil extractor and then. As we're doing that, we're also going to want to take off the on the other side of the engine is the oil fill. Okay, as you can see on the cap here, it's asking for a 5W30. So we're just going to take off the cap. That way, oil can flow out a little easier. Okay, now I have the the barbed fitting hooked up hooked up to my oil extractor. I have this. It's called a top cider. It's just an, oil, an extractor. Any any extractor will work fine. I'm using. I'm doing this in my side compartment. Normally, you you can run this out the back, out the drain hole, out the back. Um, the fact that I'm using an, a suction tool, though, it shouldn't matter that it's in this compartment. It's just hard to get this out the back. So that might be the case with you. You might be able to easily get it out the back. This is this is. It just is. There's harder. There's limited access to the back to get it out the drain hole. So I'm just doing it out to the side. So I have my extractor hooked up. I'll create a suction now. I'm just going to pump this and then just let the oil drain. Should you know, less than 10, 15 minutes, it should have all. It holds about eight quart, eight quarts, so we should get most of that out, and then we'll work on the oil filter. Okay, it's been sucking oil for the last 15 minutes, and now it's just uh, looks like got all the remainder out of there. So. You want to do it a few times just so you make sure you have all the oil out. So now, now that we have the oil inside of the extractor tool, now we're going to work on the oil filter. On this boat, this is on the... Uh, so this, this side of the motor, looking at the motor on the left-hand side of it, in the back is the, is the oil filter. It's, there's like a remote filter housing and I can access it through this little door here to get to the back of the engine. So I'm just going to go in through there and then it's just right back there basically the filter. Okay now I'm done with the extract the oil I'll just put the cap back on and hook it back onto the engine block hold it right there. Okay so we have the oil hose clip back up we're on the starboard side and then I have this little access panel here but if you see this is towards the back of the the engine, you see the oil filter right there. It's on this remote housing. So it should be pretty easy to get off. There's plenty of access around it. So we're going to work on getting that off. Okay, I'm just using this wrench, just a universal filter wrench, just to kind of loosen it up. So once I get it a little more loose, I'm going to put a bag around it so that way I don't drip oil all through the bilge. Okay, now that I have the filter close to coming off, I have this, just get a gallon size Ziploc bag. I'm just going to use that to 
catch the oil. drain for a minute and we'll get the new one put on. Okay, we have the old filter off. I want to make sure that the gasket doesn't stay up there. So I've wiped it off, no gasket. Now we're ready to put the new one up. So on the new one I've rubbed oil on top of the gasket. Okay, just oil on there and then I've actually just, I wrote on the filter the hours. And the date changed so that way I know for a future reference. Okay, I'm just screwing it on there. I didn't pre fill it with oil just because I didn't want to spill it in here, so I'll just make sure to put the full eight quarts into the oil fill hole. Okay, you can get this pretty tight. Pretty tight. I have this little wrench here, I'll just give it a little. I'll just give it a little turn. Okay, that should be pretty good. That's that's very snug on there. Don't want it too tight. Okay, last step, now that you have the oil hose drain plug on, you have your oil filter on, just get back here to the drain, the oil fill, get your funnel position and then just pour in your seven and a half, eight to eight quarts of oil. I'm going to do about seven and a half and then I'll run it, see where the oil's at and then I can top up it if needed. You obviously don't want to overfill it just because there's probably a little residual still in the pan. After that, you're good to go. Just dispose of your old oil and put everything back together. Thanks for watching.